Emergency federal dollars coming to the state of Maryland. The White House approving $60 million towards relief after the collapse of the Key Bridge in Baltimore on Tuesday. One of the many new developments tonight, Fox 5's Donna St. Joe Bones, who was in Dundalk with the latest from Governor Wes Moore and other leaders on the cleanup efforts. Nana. Jim and Angie, good evening. Now, Governor Westmore says reopening the ports of Baltimore fast and safe is a priority, but he does not want the community to forget about the six construction workers who lost their lives on Tuesday when the Key Bridge collapsed. Before I leave for North Carolina, which I'm going to do in a few minutes, I want to speak briefly about the terrible incident and accident that happened in Baltimore this morning. At about 1.30, container ship struck the Francis Scott Key Bridge, which I've been over many, many times commuting from the state of Delaware to our trainer by car. Been in Baltimore Harbor many times. And uh, the bridge collapsed, sending several people and vehicles into the water, into the river. And uh, multiple U.S. Coast Guard units, which are stationed very nearby, thank God, were immediately deployed along with local emergency personnel. Okay, like real, real quick couple of questions. What was on the boat? Like what was in those containers? It was carrying almost 5,000 containers. So like what was what was on, on the boat? What was on the boat? Like I haven't done a ton of digging into this specific company, but I guess their owner was like found in their car. So like what was what was on the boat? And it was going to this place, which yeah, what, <laughs> what was on the boat? What's happening people buzz here. So we got to talk about this cargo ship that struck the key bridge in baltimore now a lot of conspiracy theories coming out a lot of people on the internet are creating a lot of buzz as to why this happened now i'm going to show you the video because that's kind of strange very very strange what this uh ship did and before it hit this bridge which is why people are saying like hey this is a cyber attack joe Biden approved 60 million american taxpayers dollars more money to foreign causes this ship was owned by singaporeans it was registered there it was not an american ship why aren't the insurance companies saying, hey, let's make this claim, let's make this deal? But no, Joe Biden's saying that, yeah, the Americans, we got this. We can straddle more dead. No problem, man. No problem. Ship was called the Dolly. It was headed to Colombo, Sri Lanka. Um, I'm going to show you a timeline as well as ending it off with conspiracy theories. Let's take a look at this. Okay, so here comes the ship selling. Lights are on, unsuspicious. Notice the traffic, the traffic coming back and forth. Power loss number one. Lights turn off. Strange, strange. Is that normal? I doubt it. Here it goes towards. Here go recovery. Lights coming back on. Thick smoke. Now this thick mo smoke could indicate that it's trying to back up or it's going full speed ahead. Here it goes straight into the pillar. Lights turn on. Black smoke still coming out. Boom. There goes the bridge. There it goes. So yeah, now you can see why people are saying it's a cyber attack. It looks like something was planned. This look pre-planned preemptive attack. The lights come on and off twice. Black smoke bellows out the engines. Now why that is, maybe they're backing up like a saint where they're going full throttle into these pillars. Who knows? Fox 5 New York writes, Baltimore Key Bridge collapse. Live update, six people presumed dead. 7.30 p.m. Officials in search and rescue phase into recovery operations. 5.50 p.m. Satellite images of the bridge crash. Before, nice, blue, beautiful area. After, look at that. That is destruction and carnage. Can't even see the waters. Looks like a bomb went off. 5.30 p.m. Pilot tried to slow the ship which could probably explain the black smoke. Either way, he either slowed down or he sped up. No other option. 5.30, uh, 5.50 p.m., six missing construction workers presumed dead. By the way, they were migrants. May or may or not have been illegals. 2.15 p.m., supply chain manager says Americans should expect shortages. The head of supply chain management company said Americans should expect shortages of goods as Baltimore Bridge collapsed. Affects ocean container shipping and East Coast trucking logistics. Peterson was working with the team Tuesday to reroute about 800 shipping containers currently making their way to Baltimore's port. Quote, it's a scramble because each of those containers 
has now a new journey to clear customs. You got to get a different truck to pick it up at a different port. It creates a whole lot of downstream work, he said. 1.40 p.m. witness video shows bridge collapse. Yo! What the? What? What the? No shot! No shot! Gosh! Yo! What the? 12.50 p.m. Bond pledges to move heaven and earth to rebuild. He then later pledges to give $60 million of American taxpayers money to build this, which is going to take approximately 10 years. So just, just double or triple that number. That's what it's going to cost in the amount of 10 years. It's not going to be no $60 million, I promise that. Before I leave for North Carolina, which I'm going to do in a few minutes, I want to speak briefly about the terrible incident and accident that happened in Baltimore this morning. At about 1.30, container ship struck the Francis Scott Key Bridge, which I've been over many, many times commuting from the state of Delaware to our trainer by car. I've been in Baltimore Harbor many times. And uh, the bridge collapsed, sending several people and vehicles into the water, into the river. And uh, multiple U.S. Coast Guard units, which are stationed very nearby, thank God, were immediately deployed along with local emergency personnel. And the Coast Guard is leading the response to the port, where representatives from the Federal Highway Administration, the FBI, the Department of Transportation, the Army Corps of Engineers, as well as Maryland officials and Baltimore police and fire, are all working together to coordinate an emergency response. Officials at the scene estimate eight people were unaccounted for still, not still, were unaccounted for. That number might change. Two have been rescued, one without injury, one in critical condition. And the search and rescue operation is continuing for all those remaining as we speak. I spoke with Governor Moore this morning, as well as the mayor of Baltimore, the county executive, United, to both United States senators and the congressman. And my secretary of transportation is on the scene. I told them we're going to send all the federal resources they need as we respond to this emergency. And I mean all the federal resources. And we're going to rebuild that port together. Everything so far indicates that this was a terrible accident. At this time, we have no other indication, no other reason to believe there's any intentional act here. Personnel on board the ship were able to alert the Maryland Department of Transportation that they had lost control of their vessel, as you all know and reported. As a result, local authorities were able to close the bridge to traffic before the bridge was struck, which undoubtedly saved lives. Our prayers are with everyone involved in this terrible accident and all the families of yeah, so here you see him saying, uh, we're going to take care of it. The government's going to do everything they can to take care of this. I mean, you know how our government works. Y'all remember Eastern Palestine, right? East Palestine. What happened with that? The train collapsed, it derails, and they don't clean it up. They burn it. <laughs> the people over there were suffering. They couldn't even, you know, wipe their eyes because it was burning so bad. The fish are dying in the, the rivers. That's the kind of response our government has to these incidents. 11 a.m. close-up views of the ship. I mean, the ship looks practically unfazed and undamaged. All they need to do is just remove this structural stuff laying on top of it, and this thing can just ride out the bay. Open it back up. Why you guys got to have it close for? A lot of um, people are going to be held up on these goods. A lot of businesses are relying on these goods to leave their doors open, but nah, they're going to leave it closed. 10 a.m., at least six people unaccounted for. 9.30 a.m., history of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Well, this guy, Francis Scott, he wasn't particularly the best guy, which is why I wouldn't be surprised once they rebuild this bridge, they want to you know, rename it. The woke revolutionaries want to rename it. He uh, wrote the Star Spangled Banner, by the way. 9 a.m. Other major bridge collapses in the U.S. history caused by ships. From 1960 to 2015, there were 35 major bridge collapses worldwide due to ship or barrage collisions with a total of 342 people killed, according to a 2018 report from the World Association for Waterborne Transport and Infrastructure. 18 of those collapses happened in the United States. Among the more notable collapses in the U.S. is what? The Sunshine Sk uh, Skyward Bridge spanning Florida's Tampa Bay, 1980, which killed 35 people. In 1990, barrages being pushed by a tobo in a dense fog hit and displaced Big Bayou Cannot Railroad Bridge near Mobile, Alabama. Minutes later, the Amtrak train with 220 people aboard reached the Displaced bridge and derailed, killing 47 people and injuring 103 people. 
In 2009, the vessel pushing eight barrages rammed into Pope Ferry's bridge in Biloxi, Mississippi, resulting in a 100-foot section on the bridge collapsing into the bay. In 2002, a barrage hit the Interstate 40 bridge over Arkansas River in Weber Falls, Oklahoma, collapsing a 500-foot section of road and plunging vehicles into the water. 14 people died, 11 were injured. So this is uh, consistent, right? You know, stuff needs to be replaced, needs to be maintained, and this stuff can be avoidable. But as you know, with Green New Deal and these uh, liberal laws, these policies don't actually do that. They want to replace it with stuff that makes zero sense, that costs triple, if not you know, quadruple the amount it would just to be to replace this stuff with the technology we have today. Fox 5, Washington, D.C. writes, 60 million in federal funds approved for Baltimore Key Bridge relief. Take a look at this. Emergency federal dollars coming to the state of Maryland. The White House approving $60 million towards relief after the collapse of the Key Bridge in Baltimore on Tuesday. One of the many new developments tonight, Fox 5's Donna St. Joe Bones, who was in Dundalk with the latest from Governor Wes Moore and other leaders on the cleanup efforts. Nana. Jim and Angie, good evening. Now, Governor Westmore says reopening the port of Baltimore fast and safe is a priority, but he does not want the community to forget about the six construction workers who lost their lives on Tuesday when the Key Bridge collapsed. These were fathers, and they were brothers, and they were cousins, and they were husbands. Alejandro Hernandez Fuentes and Dorian Cabrera are the two bodies that were pulled out of the Patapsco River. Officials believe four other men are trapped under metal after the bridge collapsed early Tuesday morning when a cargo ship hit one of the pillars. It could have been any of us anytime, anywhere in a situation that we could not have predicted. In order for crews to salvage what remains, Governor Westmore says they need assistance maneuvering the water that we're told now has a hazardous waste leak. That water is so dark and the debris is so dense that in most instances, our divers cannot see any more than a foot or two in front of them. To help with clearing the channel, $60 million in federal funds is on its way from Washington. The Biden-Harris administration has approved that request. We are deeply grateful. The money will support mobilization, operations, debris removal, and other emergency needs. But most importantly, move the vessel that has suspended operations at the port. The dolly is almost as long as the Eiffel Tower. And the dolly has the key bridge on top of it. The funds will also be used to address traffic concerns now that a portion of 695 is blocked off. Transportation officials are already seeing impacts on the alternate routes. Since the collapse, each day about 15,000 additional vehicles are traveling through the Fort McHenry Tunnel. And another 7,000 through the Baltimore Harbor Tunnel. More than 30,000 cars and trucks to use the Key Bridge daily. Officials say reopening the, the port will be moving. done in steps, clearing the debris from the channel, moving the ship, and then removing the bridge debris from the waterway with cranes. There's already a yellow one hovering over the vessel. Before we can actually engage in lifting, we've got to complete the assessment process of the bridge and the pieces of the bridge are in the water so that we can figure out how to cut the bridge into the right size pieces so that we can actually lift them with the crane. So, Jim and Angie, we are expecting two more cranes. We're told one weighs about 1,000 tons and then the other weighs 400 tons. We're told one of them is actually supposed to arrive before midnight tonight and the other will get here on Saturday. Now, let's go to those victims really quickly. I know people have been reaching out asking. It really blows my mind, people. Like, why does our government keep doing stuff like this? Why aren't the insurance companies covering this? What's the point of having insurance on all your vehicles and homes if, if something happens to them, the government says, no, nah, we'll take care of it. We got it on our dime. When in reality, it's not their dime. It's our dime. It's the taxpayer's dime. What's the point of insurance? Hell, everyone can make a claim now to the lawyers that, hey, um, I don't need to go through my insurance company no more. We can use the American taxpayer dollar. That's what Joe is showing us. You know what I mean? What's the point of insurance companies taking our money all year long? Ridiculous. Now, of course, we've got the conspiracy theories here. There's always going to be conspiracy theories. Let's take a look at some of this. Truth Poe writes on Twitter, Baltimore Key Bridge incident. What was the ship? What was on the cargo? Early reports say they had hazardous objects in the cargo. Take a look at this. 
Okay, like real, real quick couple of questions. What was on the boat? Like what was in those containers? Cause it was carrying almost 5,000 containers. So like what was, what was on, on the boat? What was on the boat? Like I haven't done a ton of digging into this specific company, but I guess their owner was like found in their car. So like what was, what was on the boat? And it was going to this place, which yeah, what, <laughs> what was on the boat? what was on the boat because it's rumored that this port is like one of the biggest hubs for this type of activity so like what was on the boat and then for this guy to come out and say what was it that he said oh right the federal government is going to fund the rebuild so basically like you and i taxpayers are going to pay for them to put this building but that's a shipping giant which definitely has insurance why aren't they making an insurance claim where they can like do an investigation to figure out what happened to the boat? What was on the boat? What was on the boat? Now we're paying for it this way, so there doesn't have to be an investigation. No, 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 we'll just pay for it and everything goes away. What was on the boat? This is a severe problem in Baltimore, so... What was on the boat? Yeah, what was on that damn boat, man? Seriously. If I was into human trafficking, which I'm not, that's the first thing I would use is these cargo shipping containers. Stack them in these containers, take them port to port. And if you're in charge of everything, no one's going to question, you know, a certain amount of cargo containers going somewhere it's not supposed to go, not getting checked, paperwork getting, you know, uh, scribbled on for, yeah, this person received it and inspected it. That's exactly what I'd be doing, but nope. You know what I mean? No one knows. Now here's another one right here. They suspect that there was charges on the key bridge. It looks kind of, it looks kind of real there. But on the same note, there could have been, you know, electrical lines running down this bridge, which I'm sure there is to keep lights on. And that's why it caused this, you know, explosion. But people are saying that there's set charges. Take a look. Let off at every single point. I'm going to do it again. So we got here, 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 here. Charges. Boom. You know, vessels. Uh, hit for the middle. On the copy um, before that, you can clearly see it happened six or seven times. I went right down the line showing each and every fire point. But my point to this video is let's not get distracted by this here. Let's keep these videos going like they'd like us to cover, but make sure you put Diddy in it. P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, sex trafficking. Keep hitting those fucking keywords all day, people. That's Don't let up. They want to play dumb with these stories to distract us. We're going to keep on the subject with their videos. Tagging it, Diddy. Let's go. Let off at every single point. Man, I'm sick and tired of our government doing stuff like this. Now, if this is exactly what they're saying it is, a conspiracy theory that was used to cover up certain things like the Diddy sex scandal, which, by the way, Diddy's connected to powerful heads of state. He has connections with, apparently, he is a Fed, federal agent helping them to keep him out of jail for sex trafficking minors etc all the crimes he's been doing um this could be one of those events to cover up these things to sweep it under the rug which i'm i'm you know i'm not it's, it's kind of far-fetched but it's a possibility right it's always a possibility you can't just dismiss this stuff as conspiracy theories you're crazy nah we gotta look deeper into this stuff and as to why this stuff is happening it's gonna come out you know years after the this uh, bridge gets built or sometime this year or whenever that uh, hey yeah this is what was really going on here's the documentary about this and we're gonna be like what this is real this actually happened yeah it actually happened and why didn't we know about it immediately because they wait to put out any evidence about anything major happening immediately that's how it works look at uh, jfk's assassination they held out for years and years and years to be even drop even dimes of hints about that and even still president Biden had the option to release this information after 50 years and he didn't even do that why is that because the cia the fbi and all these people were involved to kill jfk it wasn't a conspiracy theory there was not a magic bullet there was multiple shooters the man was set up that shot um uh, jfk he was the fall the fall guy now guys y'all let me know about this um cargo ship and conspiracy theories where they have any claim to it like comment subscribe to the buzz review see you on the next one